Hey guys, this is Vegeta8259 again, and I'm just kind of sitting here bored out of my mind uh, because I have absolutely nothing to do today. So uh, I figured I would just do a little Q&A session with uh, some of the questions I've gotten over the past week or so. <clears throat> uh, let's see. First off, I do want to thank you guys for all the uh, nice comments that you leave on my channel and on my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and of course, we get uh, several, you know, questions that uh, might be better answered in person rather than you know typing it out on the computer or uh, something like that. But anyway, uh, so let's get started. Um, there are actually several questions that start with the phrase "Are you getting?" Uh, apparently a lot of you are curious about what model kits I'll be getting in the future and uh, you know uh, I guess uh, I don't know anyway uh, first off are you getting Master Grade the O? The answer is yes I've already bought it, already paid for it, it's already been shipped and it should be getting here t uh, no not today, tomorrow uh, I'm recording this on Thursday it might get here Friday, maybe Saturday, I don't know. Friday or Saturday, probably. Uh, at which point, I will be doing a unboxing video. However, I am going to be uh, painting the kit before reviewing it. So, uh, there might be a little bit of a wait after the unboxing. So, I'll probably make like a little filler review to throw in there to tide you guys over until I review Master Grade the O. Next up... Uh, are you getting the Master Grade Death Scythe? And at first I wasn't going to because uh, Death Scythe is my least favorite of the Verka Gundams from Gundam Wing. But uh, I finally figured it out that it wasn't the design that I disliked. It was actually the color scheme. So I decided that I am going to get Master Grade Death Scythe, but I'm going to be repainting it into the... Uh, the colors that are in the TV show, and I know that it's already in the colors that's in the TV show, but you know, the colors are in different places. But uh, either way, I'm going to be painting it in a strictly TV color scheme. So it'll have a black head, actually, not even black. I'm going to be using a very dark blue uh, for the shoulders and the body and all that stuff. And yeah, I hope it'll turn out pretty nice. I think it will. Uh, here's another one that I've gotten asked several times, are you going to be getting the high grade double O quanta? And the answer to that is no, simply but well, for two reasons really. One, I'm just not a fan of 1 to 144 scale kits. I know I just reviewed the real grade, but I bought that kit out of sheer curiosity just because I wanted to see what a small master grade would be like. But uh and two, I'm not really a that big a fan of double O quanta's design. Uh, I love the other three, Zabanya, Raphael, and Hirut, Hirute, however you pronounce it. Um, I love their designs, although I still probably won't be getting the high grades of them. Uh, if Bandai were ever to release 1 to 100 scale no grades or uh, master grades of them, then I would be more tempted, but I'm not going to spend my money on uh, 1 to 144 scale versions of them. So, next up, are you going to be getting real grade Shar Zaku 2 in November? And uh, I kind of alluded to this at the end of my real grade review. Um, I haven't really decided because the way I see it, uh, like I said uh, just a minute ago, I like 1 to 100 scales a lot better than 1 to 144. So, I mean, I already have a, a master grade Shar Zaku version 2.0, and I have a I actually have three <laughs> Master Grade Shar Zakus uh, in one form or another. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of just happy with those. I don't really see the reason to get a real grade Shar Zaku when uh, I'm not really that much into 1 144 scales. I might get it, I don't know. If uh, it gets closer to its release date and it looks really, really awesome, I might pick it up. I don't know. Um, although there are some things on here that uh, I haven't been asked questions about, but I am planning on getting. 
the <laughs> again I know I just said I don't like 1 to 144 scales but I am planning on getting the high grade uh, bear act guy that comes out in December and again just because that suit looks so funny I have to have it <laughs> I mean it's an act guy with a teddy bear head how can you not like that so I, I am planning on getting that uh, I'm thinking about getting the Master Grade Rizel, although I haven't decided on it yet. Um, kind of like Char's Zaku Real Grade. Uh, I mean, it looks nice and all, but uh, I just haven't made up my mind yet. I'll have to. I mean, it'll be closer to its release date in October before I can decide whether I'm going to buy it or not. Uh, I'm also thinking about getting the High Grade Sinanju, which comes out. Is it next month? Or is it October? I can't remember. Uh, one of those two months, September or October, High Grand Sinanju is coming out. I might get it because it looks pretty awesome. It, in my opinion, it looks just as good as the Master Grade, only in a smaller scale. And, uh, I don't know. I haven't pre ordered it yet, but I don't know. I might get it. So that's all the Are You Getting questions. Uh, let's see. Here's a person asking. Am I going to do another Let's Build series? Uh, the answer is maybe, but not anytime soon. Uh, just simply because when I'm building a kit, I like to be able to just focus on building and painting the kit with no distractions. And when I have to concentrate on recording myself and doing the whole thing uh, with the video, it usually almost doubles the amount of time that it takes me to work on a model kit. Because, I mean, you saw it took me ten parts over the course of nine days to do real grade Gundam. And really, if I hadn't have been doing the video series, I could have had that done in maybe a little bit less than a week. Like, five or six days. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's just what it comes down to, is that the Let's Build series take up more time than I would like them to. Because, you know, you'll be videotaping, uh, and then you'll get interrupted, and you'll have to start over, or go back and edit the video, or something like that. So it's it's informative, and I enjoy doing them, and I enjoy the feedback that you guys give me from them, but they really are kind of a hassle to uh, make. So, I mean, I'll, I'll probably do one again in the future, just not anytime soon. Uh, let's see, somebody else asks, what are my thoughts on the new Perfect Grade coming out this winter? Um, I don't know what to tell you. Bandai hasn't given us any clues at all, except that we are getting a new Perfect Grade. Um, a lot of people I've talked to think that it's going to be Double O related, because of the Double O movie. I know Robert184 just posted a video saying that it might be a uh, Perfect Grade Double O Quanta. Uh, I mean, it could be. I mean, Double O Quanta could certainly use the inner frame from Double O Gundam. Uh, it, like I speculated in my uh, Perfect Grade Double O review, it might be a Perfect Grade Exia. I'd rather have a Perfect Grade Exia than a Double uh, O Quanta myself. Um, at, but honestly, I would rather have another Universal Century Perfect Grade because there's so many iconic Universal Century suits that haven't gotten the Perfect Grade treatment yet like Double Zeta Gundam, New Gundam, uh, Hyakushiki, uh, the Alex. Um, I don't think Gundam Ground Type stands a very good chance of getting a perfect grade, although there is a nice conversion kit that Neo Grade's making, uh, but that's a whole other topic. Um, I, the top of my list is probably Double Zeta Gundam. I would absolutely love a perfect grade Double Zeta Gundam. New Gundam would be a very close second, and then Alex. Uh, a lot of people want a Perfect Grade Unicorn Gundam. Uh, I think a Perfect Grade Unicorn would be great. Uh, although I would really... You know what I would actually want more than a Perfect Grade Unicorn Gundam? Is a 160th scale No Grade Unicorn Gundam with a light-up Psycho Frame similar to the 160th scale Strike Freedom. I think I would rather have that than a perfect grade new uh, unicorn Gundam that doesn't light up. Uh, just because it would be so much simpler and it would light up rather than the complexity that a perfect grade would have. Uh, I don't know, but, but that's just me. 
I don't know, if they could do a perfect grade Unicorn Gundam that did light up, it would be amazing. It would cost a fortune, but it would be amazing. Uh, let's see. Somebody else asks, whatever happened to your perfect grade GPO-1? Well, I snapped it together. I built it. Um, I just haven't painted it yet. Because, let's see, when did I get it? I got it in spring... And then all of a sudden these like have to have master grade releases started coming out every month. Wing Gundam, Musha Mark II, uh, the full armor Gundam, which I didn't get, but I did a conversion kit of it. And then real grade came out, and now VO is coming out, which I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna build and paint it right when it gets here. So it just keeps getting pushed back. So uh it, it's definitely on my short list is in fact, as soon as uh, I finish DO, I can start working on some of these kits that I've got in my backlog that uh, I've had for a while but just haven't had a chance to work on. And GPO-1 might be that next kit, so let's hope so. Uh, also, uh, a couple of you have asked what happened to my G-System XS Gundam conversion kit. And that would be the same exact answer that I just gave you for Perfect Grade GPO-1. It just keeps getting pushed back. Uh, I was going to work on it after I finished my Gundam X, but uh, then the real grade got there and I said, oh, I better paint this and uh, finish it for, so I can review it. Then I ended up doing a Let's Build on it and just one thing after the other, so... I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's just how it goes. So, uh, I've been going on for a while now. I guess I'll end this video here. Um, you guys let me know if you want to uh, have any more of these little Q&A sessions like this. I mean, they're easy for me to do, uh, especially when I'm sitting around the house with nothing to do like I am today. So, uh, yeah, with that, I guess I will see you guys next time.